I'm Charles Eldon and welcome to my channel Charles Last time we painted Zack Snyder's Justice League March of Manhunter and this time I'm gonna paint Zack Snyder's Justice League Green Lantern. In the movie I know there is no Green Lantern. Yes there is a Green Lantern but in the first stage we see the Yalangur and the uh, first Green Lantern of the Earth but the, not the Green Lantern. But after the movie Zack Snyder shared the uh, concept art of the Green Lantern and also some behind the scenes and some edited stuff from the that scene was never released so I take that scene and as a reference and find this 3d print and I'm gonna paint this for my collection and show you how to I do that let's paint okay here is our figure statue and I have I will also put in here two reference picture actually more than two reference picture for the painting this but first of all I'm want to start with the skin tone because I never painted a human skin tone before uh, last time I painted the Martian so technically he is not a human and his skin tone was you know color is green and this time I need to paint dark skin tone so I research about that and find some formulas and I'm gonna I already tried some and I think I decided which one I'm gonna do and I will just show you what colors I'm gonna use. First of all, I'm gonna use bird amber, then the rose sienna, and the last titanium white. I'm gonna mix them together, but like this. One part, one volume titanium white, two volume rose sienna, and four volume bird amber. I tried many different methods. One volume from each or one volume from that, the two volume from that, all. I all tried many, many different formulas and I decided to stick with that. Four, two, and one. And as you can see, I already tried some green stuff for the suite. It's actually turned out a little bit lighter than I expect. So I'm gonna add a little bit more bird amber. Now it's five volume, but you can't exactly decide how much it is as long as you didn't measure with something. I'm just measuring with my eyes, so do it like me. Take a reference picture of the actor, Mr. Wayne T. Carr, and just keep looking at him. And when you think, yeah, this is his skin tone, that's all. Go. start to paint it. And also there are two pictures. One of them is is a concept art and in there we see his whole hands are Cover with the gloves and it's a green metallic green or something like that but in the scene exact scene Zack Snyder shoot it but we never saw but just one picture from it his hands not fully covered with the gloves it's like a half cover like a, just some kind of protection on his backhand but not the rest not the fingers so in this 3d print also there's a just a, this cover and the rest of his hand is opened. I'm gonna paint his hand, also skin tone. And if you're watching the video, please subscribe my channel, like the video, share it with your friends. I will also share the links of the, this 3D figures file where you can buy it actually. I will Share the link in the description below so you can buy it for yourself and maybe print it on your own 3D printer or from the same companies just like me. Then you can paint it. Even you can find the companies who bought paint and print it for you. That's up to you. Okay, so far. It's like this. 
I'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes then make another coat. A few moments later. I painted three layers of the mixed brown we made it for the skin tone and the undercoat is gonna be this color. So in the top of this we're gonna add some shadows and the highlights. And for the for example on her hands there's a this joint points, right? There are joints. And in these points, if we are gonna for example make a fist, these are gonna be much more lighter. So of course lights or the shadows depends on the angle of the light, I know, but in this situation it's gonna be stand like always the same position and same view, you know. So I have to put some shadows and highlights to make it looks better. It has some you know natural lights and shadows, I know when I move it I see them, but I want them to much more visible. So for that I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. Just I'm gonna add some lighter tones around the knuckles and some points. I am just checking the you know uh, reference pictures, reference photos of the Wayne T car, and I'm trying to understand where I should where I need to put all the highlights and the shadows. And I'm gonna add some to his knuckles first. And I'm gonna do it in a dry brush technique. Not too much, not too powerful, but just a little bit. And also in his face, I saw the light spots, you know, his nose area, his cheeks and his eyebrows section, kind of like in the middle of his forehead. So I'm gonna just a little bit dry brush over there to highlight more. Inside of his ears. Okay, for the darker points, I'm gonna take a little bit more Burn some brush and just uh, mix it with my original undercoat tone paint and I'm gonna dry brush it anywhere I think it's gonna be like has the shadows like a, a, his under his eyes or above his eyes a little bit under his you know eyebrows under his down lips Also, I paint his you know, deeper down of the, his ear hole, so it's gonna be much more darker because it's a hole, right? It's inside it must 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 be darker, and also between his fingers must be again darker. So I'm gonna paint those areas with dark brown mixture too. Okay, I leave it to dry. Okay, now I completed the highlights and the shadows, as you can see, and it's dry. Now, time to move on the suite itself. And for the suite, I'm gonna use two different black. And the first one is Tamaya's. If I can focus it, yes. Rubber black. I will use this and cut the entire figure itself with uh, Tamaya rubber color and then I'm gonna paint some areas with different shade of black and I will show you that. Let's shake it and for the tin it down I'm gonna use Tamaya acrylic thinner uh, because these are not water based acrylic paints you can thin them with the water but these rebel these are aqua color it says and you can thin it with the water if you want 
I will paint the entire suit with this. And this rubber black, it's kind of rubber. Not too much bright, not too much shiny, it's kind of dull. And I'm using this because I wanted two different shades of the black on the suit. Because there is a lines and panels and I want to pop them out a little bit more and I thought if I'm doing this it will be much more better and looks much more nice in the end result. Also I don't mind if I paint the you know, uh, logo because in the end I'm gonna paint it metallic so black undercoat will help me later. Yes, I painted the entire seat and it needs to dry. I'm just leave it there so it can dry. Then we can move on to next part. 20 minutes later. Now it's dry again and it's time to move on to painting different parts of the seat with a different shade of black. Let me show you. If you can see, there's a let me focus it, sorry. There's a panels in here, also his gauntlet has different panels, his pens and you know, it's actually just like one suit, but uh, I'm gonna panel uh, paint those panels with black, gloss black. So these are pop up a little bit more and give me the, some difference also. In this part and this part gonna be the kind of metallic green right so under it if I make it a little bit glossy end result will be much more glossy again so let's do this also I'm gonna paint uh, the logo with this gloss black by the way you can use the different shades of black it's all up to you. I decided to go with this, but you can decide it to, you know, maybe reverse of it. You can make this, this places more shiny and the rest a little bit matte. That's up to you. Okay, for the gauntlet, I mostly believe it's start from here to there. And also I'm gonna paint the ring with gloss black. In here these lines are not so visible so I'm gonna just paint this part first because it's much more obvious then try to mirror it on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna leave it to dry for a few minutes so I can hold from here so I can paint the underbody. A few minutes later. Now it's dry and I can touch it. I can move on to lower body. Now I mostly paint the part I want uh, with the gloss black and I will wait it to dry. I made some imperfections, it's normal, I'm gonna fix them later and then I will paint the boots. 20 minutes later. So far we are like this. Actually I was gonna paint the boots with Tamiya, Tamiya semi-gloss black paint but then I realized his boots are, at least in the concept art, it's green, as which I'm gonna paint in here and the gauntlets and the you know, ring and the chest logo, everything is gonna be need to be same green. So I'm gonna paint the boots also with Rebels gloss black. 
because I need a, this gloss black as an undercoat before I move on to the make it green. Okay, I also painted the boots and sweeties looks like that with a matte black and glossy black. It's all after almost, of, of course, after it's dry, it's gonna be ready for the uh, green parts, painting green, right? So, see you in the next part. One eternity later. Okay, it's now all dry and I have two different shades of black. One is the matte, one is shiny, glossy black. And now it's time to paint the green parts. While I'm doing that, I'm just checking the two reference pictures. One of it is the concept art of the John Stewart for the DCU, Zack Snyder's Justice League. And the other one is the New 52 John Stewart Green Lantern. Because I believe Zack Snyder takes his influence mostly from the New 52 series. At least as for the customs, you know, suites. So I just check it and and I see it's like, you know, so similar. It has green in here, in the gauntlets, and also at the boots. So I'm gonna paint it like that. I found this green acrylic paint. I painted many different green acrylic with the, uh, other surfaces and tried to find the best color and most liked color I like, you know. So I decided to go with this one and it doesn't say the which green it is actually it's maybe it's french i don't know it's what language is this but let me show you the product so you can maybe find it for yourself i mixed this with silver acrylic paint and one on one volume i'm gonna paint the armor parts green armor parts with that and as you can see it's not gonna cover it in the first layer I need to make it maybe three, four layers for the cover. All the parts I wanted to cover, but that's fine. I don't want to see too much brush marks on it. So I'm gonna take my time and do it in the layers. I also look for the metallic green acrylic paint, you know, directly, not the mix, the green and the silver, but I didn't find anything I like, so I, Decided to go with like that. Hopefully it turned out good. Yes, I painted mostly the parts, actually the upper parts, just the boots. I need the paint, but I don't want to hold it from here with the paint. I'm gonna wait for it to dry, so then I will move on to the boots. I'm gonna make the two, three more layers, and I will show you the end result. For the armor parts, of course. 20 minutes later. Upper parts are dry. Of course, I'm gonna give it a second cut, but now I'm gonna paint the boots. Then I will move on to second layer. So yeah, I painted the boots at the first layer and I'm gonna wait about the 15 minutes so it will be completely dry. Then I move on to second layer. 2000 years later. Now it's time to second layer because first layer all dry. I mixed a little bit more green and silver. And as you can see, it start to cover a little bit more. I believe three layers will be enough, but we will see. Yes, second layer of the upper armor is done and I will move on to uh, boots, but I need to wait a little bit more again. A few moments later. Now it's time to move on to third layer. 
Hopefully, we'll be the last layer because, man, it looks like a tag forever. Looks like, I don't know, because of the shine, maybe you can't see it really, but I can see the some darker parts under it. Uh, looks like it's gonna need, it's gonna be neat. The fourth layer of the green. Uh, it is sad, but what can I do? It is what it is. I will paint it. I painted five layers of metallic green in here and what can I say? Is it worth it? Yes, absolutely. Is it fun? No. Is it necessary? Yes, absolutely necessary. And if you are gonna paint that, take my advice and take your time, make it slowly and whenever you like the result, you know, final result, then Keep moving otherwise stay and now it's time to turn it like this so you can maybe much more easily see uh, the chest logo and the chest logo in the concept art it's kind of too bright and I don't understand which part is the white which part is the green or the you know like that so I decided to go with the new 52 style and in the new 52 style you can see these parts, not the outer circle and the logo itself, but the rest is white. So I'm gonna paint it white, but not just the white. I have the, you know, titanium white. I use this for the entire project. And also I mix it with a little bit silver. Just a little to make it a little bit shine because this is kind of, you know, magical outer space thing. So I don't want to just you know, flat white. I want it to be pop up a little bit more, uh, shine it at least. I will paint it with the titanium white, mix it with the silver. And it looks like this also takes layers, but which is fine. I'm gonna take my time and paint it slowly. But you see the first layer, and I will move on to the last layer so you can see the final result. One eternity later. Okay, I painted the logo five layers and sometimes I have to make, you know, adjustment between the logo and the round painted black again, the logo, because these are very small areas to paint and my uh, brush is not too small. Actually, I have one small brush, but I want to keep it for the eye section. I don't want to ruin it. I don't know, I never used that before, so I will keep it for now. And now I'm gonna paint the logo itself. And for the logo, I'm gonna use this emerald green. These are the emerald mice, right? So I'm gonna use the emerald green and again mix with the silver. Silver makes it shine everything, so I use it so much in this project. I mix them together and have my mixture already. And I'm gonna paint the logo. I think also this will take a few layers. I want the logo looks different than the whole suite. I don't want to look the same. I want to kind of feel like it's already shining. Like he activated his ring and the power. This is the first layer. I'm gonna. I think again five layers gonna. I'm I'm gonna paint it. So I don't want to bother you with all the same brush, you know, techniques again and again. And forget to mention, I'm also gonna paint the ring with the same green. Okay. Ring and the logo gonna be green. Three days later. I painted the logo as good as I can because it's a very tiny area and it's not easy to paint, believe me. And now I'm gonna move on to hair. I will leave the eyes in the end because before that I never painted an eyes. Actually, I painted an eye, eyes, uh, much Manhunter's eyes, but it was actually more simple. It was just red and maybe little pink dot in the middle of it. But this is a human eye and I need to be more careful. I need to be make it better. Because if I make it 
wrong, it's gonna ruin everything. And I don't know, I feel very nervous about that. So I'm gonna leave it in the end and we will see. And for the hair, I will use this basic black acrylic paint. Okay, let's leave it to dry. A few moments later. I painted almost everything. As you can see, the ring, the logo, the armor, the suit, the skin, the hair, almost everything. And now the most tedious part, most scariest part, because I never ever painted a human high. Mr. Wayne Tika. Believe me, I'm gonna do my best. I hope I will do a good job because the eyes are everything almost. If I make it bad, it's gonna ruin everything, I think. That's, oh, and one more thing, yeah. I have to paint the eyebrows too, yeah. I forgot. Okay, one more step, then we will move on to the eyes, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't so hard. Let, let it dry it up for a few minutes so. Then we can move on to the scariest part, eyes. Few minutes later. For the eyes, painting the eyes, I'm gonna use this brush. I just bought it. Tamaya modeling brush. It is called as an item 87, sorry, 017. And it's very, very, very small brush. And I think it's perfect for the eyes. And for the eyes, I'm gonna use again just white first. It's kind of a little bit big around the eyes, but let it dry for a minute so I can fix that later. Few minutes later. Okay, it's the tedious part. I take the semi-gloss black from the Tamiya, just to take a little bit and try to put a little dot in the center. Three twenty-eight a.m. Yay! I paint the eyes. I know these are not the best, but. This is the first time I paint the human eyes and for the 1 to 12 scale, I think for the first time it's pretty good. At least I will talk myself like this and I realized I missed something, his lips. It looks fine but I'm gonna paint it with kind of pinkish color. I mix it, the scarlet red with titanium white you saw many times in this video and have this pink coloring here and I'm gonna just gently wipe it on his lips and I don't want to make it too thick right now you can see all his lips and it's too much so I'm gonna just wipe a little bit from his mouth to rather make it less pink even I feel like I need to do a little bit more. I will just give it a little bit water. And I will leave it to dry for a few minutes, then I will make it a little black wash on it, so it's gonna be a little bit darker. A few moments later. Now for the last thing I'm gonna do is I did the same trick with much Manhunter but it's kind of work, kind of didn't work. I can see in the real life but in the camera you didn't see so much. So this time I'm gonna do it again which is glow in the dark paint. This one is green, natural green let's say and I don't know if it's work or not. I have this you know, waste piece and I try many different colors into it. And now, actually you can see just 
a little light thing that the glow in here let me see it's glow and I'm gonna use this paint on the logo chest emblem and the ring it said shake it very well mix it very well so because it's it needs to be shake it mix it very well so I will and it takes five six maybe seven coats to you know shine very well in the dark so I'm gonna just show you once and then do it on my lot you know between 10 minutes or something like that Okay, I will do this five, seven times more and then we can seal all the project. One eternity later. Okay, now we are in the end game and now I'm gonna seal all the work I've done so far. And for that, I'm gonna use gloss varnish for the green parts, the armor and the logo and the eyes and the ring and the boots i'm gonna use the gloss varnish and the rest the sweet the black parts uh, hair and skin i'm gonna use matte varnish that's all then we can call it the day let's do this we can call it done. So let's get to the glamorous shot. Okay guys, I finished the paint the Zack Snyder's Justice League Green Lantern, John Stewart and I like it very much and it's green and the, you know that glow in the dark thing is all perfect and it's kind of cool to have it and if you want to download this and print this and paint this to yourself I'm gonna share the link in the description below so you can download it, paint it, you know, print it and the other stuff uh, to yourself please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share the videos all the all over the internet and like it uh, make a comment down below and see you on the next one see ya.